hi there here chef bonus and this video it's all about important terms for review where in this video I got three important terms where I'm gonna explain you in perfect way where you can understand about this so let's start with this we have fish stock we have fish fume then we have a code bullion right so these three important terms where I'm gonna explain you in a better way we can understand perfectly right so without wasting time let's start with the points before that I welcome to my channel so please like this video and subscribe to my channel right so let's start with the terms the first term is all about a fish talk in French stock the poison that would be say in French right fish talk is made from fish bone and trimming left over and after filleting bones from lean white fish gives the best stock fat fish are not normally used we generally not use the fish the fat fish because we just need the fish bone or being completely perfectly trimmed otherwise it'll get a mess to the stock right so we don't want any cloudiness in the stock for that reason that what we're gonna use is only the fish trimming bones right no fat fishes we're going to use in this a standard fish stock is made from the same way as the white stock if you don't know about the white stock please go over the previous video we're gonna help you out to understand about the white stock that how it make and what is the procedure to make the white stock right so do watch my previous videos where I written over then the white stock and brown stock so you can watch my previous videos you can easily understand what mean of white stock right and how what is the procedure to making a perfect white stock let's go to the next slide here we go I'm, I just gave some of tips in the slides. Let's start with this. Fish do make a bitter stock if cooked longer than 20 minutes. The stock can be cooked for 4 to 6 hours. This slowly cooking process extracts all the gelatin from the bones and making a wonderful and rich broth. What it says actually, you're not supposed to be like cook more than 20 minutes because every stock have a particular time to cook. If you're gonna cook more, you're not gonna get that clear and the richness stock, richness in stock, right? So everything like time, temperature matters a lot, right? So it should be in a similar way. It's not been like so high in flame that to cook faster. It must be go from the cold to hot, not from the simmer to hot, right? Every stock start with this down, right? If you want to know, understand about the stock, please go to the previous video. You can easily understand how to make a perfect stock. And the main reason is to sweat the bone is to get the better gelatin actually. We cook, we want to get a perfect stock. So that's the main matter is to extract all the gelatin from the bones, right? Cooked fish stock that has been kept constantly frozen at zero degree Fahrenheit, which keep safe as I said that every food has a temperature to keep it right you just can't keep in the normal temperature as you done the cooking process you straight gonna go and change temperature and keep it inside right because it takes that how much long you cook everything really matters when you cook a food like how long you're gonna cook how long you can keep that for reuse purposes so those things we have to keep in mind right so let's go to the next slide here I'm gonna give you some of the ingredients of making a perfect fish stock this is, this is the ingredient one kg of fish bones then we have a carrot onion stacked celery bulb fennel black peppercorns dried bay leaf fresh parsley stock right so this all things actually straight go inside uh, this is the white stock so definitely we're not gonna add carrot in this because carrot gives color right a bit orange color so we will substitute the carrot where instead of that we're gonna add parsnips it's just a perfect substitute of carrot or parsnips right it's not gonna give you a color and give you a perfect flavor and richness to the stock right because white stock might be a white in color, right? It not be a color of any of mess or must not must be a cloudiness, okay? In the stock. So let's go to the next slide. Here we go. I'm talking about the small sauce. If you guys have no idea about the small sauce, please go and watch my previous video where in one of the video I explain about the small sauce, which can help you out to understand a bit deeper about in the small sauce, right? Let's start with the process. What is the main process of it? 
to make a small sauce the fish stock then we gonna start with the fish velute strictly then this is what a fish stock straight go fish velute then the white wine sauce that what we're going to add it here so this is the whole sequence so what we're gonna do with the fish velute and the white wine sauce we're going to add it right we're going to add together and that is a small sauce well how to make a fish velouté you know right perfectly fish stock only the base fish stock is the only base where you can make the fish velouté and white wine sauce right this together and when you together both mix the fish velouté and the white wine sauce is called a small sauce right a derivation derivatives you have an idea about the derivatives like Mornay sauce, Bersi sauce, uh, it's all mustard sauce, it's all things actually are derivatives of important sauce, right? The mother leading sauce, the leading sauce, additional plus flavor is equal to a small sauce, right? Let's see what the small sauce are. Here we go. The Normande, Bernay, Mushroom, Herbs. These are the four that I can give example for the small sauce that we can make through the fish stock, right? So, for example, I'm taking a mushroom. So, when you're gonna make the mushroom sauce through the fish stock, we're gonna add it the fish velute and the white wine sauce. Mix together, then straight adding a lot of mushroom into it. That is a processor to making actually. It's not about straight putting in that white. So, while making the process, we're gonna add a mushroom because we write it over there, the down is mushroom. So, we must need get the perfect taste and flavor of mushroom 90% of flavor mushroom must be there because the sauce name is all about small sauce name is all about mushroom right so the 90% of the mushroom and the rest will be the the, uh, the fish velute and the fish white wine sauce right the mixture of it so let's go to the next slide where I'm gonna explain you about the white wine sauce right so here we go the white wine sauce that what we have here is uh, 250 ml of white wine 2 liters of fish velouté 250 ml of heavy cream 60 gram of butter in pieces to taste salt to taste white pepper to taste lemon juice so what is the procedure to make this white wine sauce reduce the wine by half in a saucepan add the velouté and simmer until reduced slowly stir in the tempered cream remove from heat and swell in real raw butter pieces season to taste with salt white pepper and a few drops of lemon juice strain through cheesecloth so this is what the process of making white wine sauce this sauce and plus velute when you add it together you can see in the second line add the velute and simmer until reduced so exactly it's already been added the velute is already been added in this so and velute is made from fish stock right anyhow all connect to each other right fish stock from fish velute then fish velute is added to the white wine sauce so both together can make a small sauce right so white wine sauce is a flavored a kind of flavored sauce which is additional flavor which is adding to the leading sauce is equal to small sauce I'm telling you please go watch the previous video of mine one of the video I explained a small sauce if you're gonna go through that you can easily understand that what is all about a small sauce right so let's go to the next slide here we go the fish fume what do you mean the fish fume when I'm explaining you let's start with that more flavorful fish stock is called a fume like let's start with the points a French term used to refer to a condensed mixture that contain an influenced flavor derived from cooking stock that has been reduced in order to make it more concentrate it's nothing that extra flavor to add it in that same stock and it getting more concentrate means reduced to half or reduced to one third so what it does that give you more concentrated flavor so it can condensed right you can understand that when you reduced it more concentrated and rich it's get more and more rich right a fish fume is made by first sweating the bowls mirepoix in the fat white wine is to add it to deglaze it and finally water is added and the fume finished in the normal manner 
this exactly that how we make the fish talk is nothing nothing that's a big deal with making a fish film is about the what we do in fish talk we don't sweat those all things actually bones and all in butter but in fish film for more good flavor what we do is sweat the bones with the butter so it gives a more more dense flavor like mirpur and the sweat right this too important like this is the main actual in this film eh? to adding both and sweat before adding the liquid into it right so this is what about the fish film eh? is additional flavor and reduced to half so give a more condensed flavor and one extra uh what can i say process that to sweat the bone and mirpur before you adding water in it right so let's start with the next and let me just uh tell you about the ingredients here here are the ingredients that are how we make the fish fume that's clove butter mirpur onion celery parsnips mushroom bones for linfish white wine you can add any of vegetable but not going to give any color to it for that reason you can see the parsnips right now in the sixth line that clearly uh in the fifth line parsnips is this written over there just because of we know to add carrot in it so no color in it right then second for more flavor we adding some mushroom in it right this give you a, a great flavor and especially in the white and the white are uh, making a white stock we generally add the mushroom in it right for the for the better taste right let's see here the shashak that how you going to make it that uh, we're going to make it the bay leaf peppercorns we have parsley stems then we have a whole cloves then the water and cold right as we know that when we're going to start with the stock making process is supposed to go for the cold water first not been simmered also right so cold to top so hot right so that you must keep in mind before you're going to go for the process right so this is a shashe that what we added if you want to add some more extra flavor in it you can easily go but this is the normal way that what we use in the shashe the bay leaf peppercorns parsley stems whole cloves and four liter water right in four liter water we using this much things right here we go to the next slide here we have a gourd bolin so the start to know about a bit gourd bolin is a quickly cooked broth used for poaching other foods most commonly fish or seafood right a gourd bolin is an aromatic liquid or stock made with everything from simple sea salt to thyme bay leaf clove peppercorn onion carrot celery parsley milk wine lemon or vinegar this is like some of substitute that you can use it like lemon or vinegar right so what do you mean is cod boiling is about already i just read completely whole thing so what do you mean actually cod boiling is a is a broth actually which is used for poaching other food right they commonly like is a quick way to make the stock for example i can say something like uh, like i will explain i will explain a bit more like water adding this all things for we are rushing over here bay leaf clove peppercorns onion carrot celery parsley and milk wine is all things that add in once and add the things to get poach in it right so exactly that water in had been thrown right that water is now a stock so you can easily actually make which will not take any longer time to cook right once your poaching is done that water you can easily use as a stock for adding a little bit of ex- additional flavor right and this specially the cold boiling is commonly used for the fish or seafood to poach it right let's go to the next slide when cooked gently in cold boiling delicate food notably fish and other selfish as well as eggs well and chicken and a hint of liquid flavor right cold boiling is usually prepared for a head of time and cooled and strained before use it means passed from the sieve so it will be completely a clear stock right so there be not a single mess or any cloudiness will be present in it so fish cooked in cooked boiling that will be served hot is removed from the liquid once cooked true if you intends to serve your fish cold leave it cool in the liquid before removing and skinning lemon or vinegar added to cold boil and preserve the color of salmon and turn shellfish bright in color right it's about to like flavoring the stuff for that reason actually when you like you want to be served cold fish want to be served cold so you can exactly put it in that and leave for to get cold after once done you can just take it easily 
so what happened is absorb all the things and the aromatics stuff or we're gonna add it in the liquid so easily it will be absorbed by the fish right so again it will be about flavor thing so this is what about all the terms I would explain in this video and uh, thank you guys for watching this video and do listen and do watch so I'm gonna bring some more important terms for you which will help you out to understand about the culinary stuff right thank you for watching and here's chef bonus see you right there